Hey guys, sorry about not making a tutorial in a while. I've been pretty busy with school and such, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Um, in today's tutorial, we're going to be creating this hanging letter effect, where uh, the W is sort of lopsided and it's being hung up by the string. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, it doesn't require um, very much, um, really, very much effort. <laughs> um, we're going to be needing this texture background, but I'm pretty sure we've already used it in another tutorial. So, um, yeah, it's just a pattern. That one. Um, so, let's get started. We're going to create a new image, 640 by 480, and we are going to fill it in with our pattern. So, go to Paint Bucket Tool and click Pattern Fill and click Fill Whole Selection. And just click on your image. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer and put white as your foreground color and black as your background color. And on the new layer, uh, go to your gradient tool, click shape radial, and uh, stroke from that. That's probably not good. Um, if you don't know how to do this, um, just go uh, click on this button, add tab, and then layers, and um, yeah. Uh, sorry about this. Add tab layers. There we go. And um, I'm actually going to uh, zoom in preview size. There we go. And um, back to where we were. Stroke. And um, go colors. Color to alpha. And put white as your color to alpha. And click OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a new layer and do the exact same thing and then go colors color to alpha and we're going to put black as our color to alpha click OK and you can click OK and we're just gonna turn down the opacity on that a little bit and it's just because I want a little brighter middle um, on everything now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our text tool and we're gonna write W um, and with the font uh, 304 with Rockwell extra bold um, ultra bold so pretty bold um, we're gonna put a space just so we can center the W um, put it around the middle choose our color we're gonna go with a grayish color I'm using uh, this gray HTML notation is 292929. Click OK. Um, and then we're going to duplicate that text layer. And on the top one, we're going to go with this uh, lighter gray. And the HTML notation is 949494. Click OK. On the bottom text layer, you're going to go layer um, or image. No layer. Uh, layer to image size and on the top layer you're gonna do that as well. Layer to image size. Um, on your bottom layer you're gonna go um, filters, blur, motion blur. Uh, you're gonna use the following settings linear, uh, length 39 and angle 51. Click OK. May take a little while. Now what you're going to do is you're going to click the I on every layer except for the blurred layer. And then you're going to click on the blurred layer and you're just going to duplicate it a bunch of times. And this will create a pretty good 3D effect with a, such a basic program as GIMP. And uh, I've done that about like 50 times. 64 times. And uh, 63 times actually. And you're going to go uh, image, um, merge visible layers. Click merge. And now you can review everything. Now, what we're going to do is add a slight gradient to each layer. So just. Oops. Like. 
not that much. And then on this layer, you're going to do the opposite. Oops, I forgot to click lock alpha layer, lock alpha channel. Yeah, um, what you're going to do is you're going to put a uh, pretty dark gray as your foreground color and a pretty lightish gray as your uh, background color. And then you're just going to stroke out. Actually, you should probably do the opposite. There you go. Um, now what we're going to do is we can actually merge these two down. And um, we're going to rotate it. So use your rotate tool. And rotate it about, not that much, about a 10, negative 10 degree angle click rotate and you don't want to keep on playing around with it because GIMP loses quality every time you do that and I'm feeling like this background is just a little bit too strong so maybe like 19 percent opacity um, on your uh, text layer you're gonna take your paintbrush tool and um, you're going to put the calligraphic brush at a point zero seven scale and then you're gonna click right here hold shift and drag up and um... you can do that like multiple times and then where it meets you can just like draw a little thing it doesn't have to be perfect it has to and if you like slop around it looks kinda like a string so that looks good um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer below the text layer. We are going to alpha to selection the text layer. And um, select black as our foreground color. And on the new layer, fill it in with black. And whoops, click fill uh, with uh, foreground selection. Try it again. There you go. And then you're going to select none. And... Uh, on your uh, move tool, you're going to click move the active layer, and we're going to uh, move it. Again, I'm using my arrow keys for this. Uh, move it over here. Then you're going to click filters, blur, Gaussian blur. I'm going to blur it by around 63. Let me try that one more time. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity a little bit and then move it over and up that looks good and um, you're done you have finished your um, hanging letter um, it's again it's really simple but it looks great um, you could probably take it a step further and make like a whole sentence of the hanging letters and you can probably make these letters look more realistic using like cinema 4d or something like that but again this is just a s basic way um yeah so look for more tutorials don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching